Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I first begin with thanks to Allah the Almighty, the most gracious, the most merciful. Um, any, any position of leadership or any position like all of us have today comes with a tremendous amana upon us. And when you're elected or re-elected in this case, there is that excitement of what we're going to achieve, but also that heaviness on the heart that we will be accountable for every act we make and do. And so the goodness that comes with that will be in our good deeds, but the bad will also be there too. So I think I, I reflect and renew my intention, inshallah, to serve the organization, the affiliates and British Muslim communities in the best way possible. I congratulate Brother Mohammed Kuzber uh, and also Brother Lamine Kunoti. It's been wonderful to serve with you um, on the position of the Deputy Secretary General. We do have a lot to do. <laughs> and of course, to the newly elected National Council members, it is ever a great task ahead of us. And part of the session today, we made a commitment to talk about the census, because looking ahead at the future and what we're going to be focusing on is really about the condition of Muslims in this country, but the, the optimism and confidence that we can offer future, genera future generations. One of the biggest issues impacting our communities, aside from social mobility that we discussed, is Islamophobia. Um, and looking at not just Islamophobia in the verbal and physical sense, but about the institutional nature of the problem and how difficult it means for Muslim women that look very visibly Muslim to attain employment or young people to feel that they can do it. And the third area that I think would be really important for us to look at is our economic power and re-establishing the Muslim pound report because as someone notably said, whilst it's important to highlight the areas of deprivation, inequality, injustice, and discrimination, what about our economic muscle and power? And not just our validity as citizenship because of our contribution, but genuinely our commitment to shaping the society we're in because we're already doing it. Finally, I think we have, again, a, a huge task ahead of us in terms of continuing to create sustainability. There's a lot of work to do on the governance. And of course, uh, and my hope with the discussions that we've had earlier, lessons learned in terms of creating a more cohesive organization, one that is unified, and one that can bring the hearts and minds together, not just within the committees and organization, but also within our communities. Um, so I do make dua that Allah continues to guide us in these efforts, keep steady and strong our hearts in pursuit, and forgives us for our, our misdeeds, and with all of us, grants us um, his favor, his light, uh, and a lightness in our hearts as we pursue this task. Being part of the MCB in a leadership role requires nerves of steel, a lot of courage, and most importantly, your active participation in time. So I hope uh, as we continue, as the family of MCB, we'll continue this journey together. Uh, and I'm delighted to be re-elected as your Secretary General and look forward to, I guess, day one again tomorrow. Uh, and Jazakallah care to our chair, to everybody who spoke today, all the session, the staff, the sponsors. Um, it's been an incredible amount of work and we do ask Allah to accept it from all of us. And I please think we should give them a round of applause for their efforts too. <laughs>